Our today's topic is anatomy of choroid. Choroid is the posterior most part of the vascular coat of the eyeball. It extends from the optic disc to aura serrata. Its inner surface is smooth, brown and lies in contact with pigment epithelium of the retina. The outer surface is rough and lies in contact with the sclera. Microscopic structure. From without inwards choroid consists of following three layers, 1. Suprachoroidal lamina. It is a thin membrane of condensed collagen fibers, melanocytes and fibroblasts. It is continuous anteriorly with the supraciliary lamina. The potential space between this membrane and sclera is called suprachoroidal space which contains long and short posterior ciliary arteries and nerves. 2. Stroma of the choroid. It consists of loose collagenous tissue with some elastic and reticulum fibers. It also contains pigment cells and plasma cells. Its main bulk is formed by vessels which are arranged in three layers. From without inwards these are, layer of large vessels, Holler's layer, layer of medium vessels, Sattler's layer, and layer of chorea capillaris which nourishes the outer layers of the retina. 3. Basal lamina. It is also called Bruch's membrane and lines the layer of chorea capillaris. It lies in approximation with pigment epithelium of the retina. Blood supply of the uveal tract, arterial supply. The uveal tract is supplied by three sets of arteries, one. Short posterior ciliary arteries. These arise as two trunks from the ophthalmic artery, each trunk divides into 10 to 20 branches which pierce the sclera around the optic nerve and supply the choroid in a segmental manner. 2. Long posterior ciliary arteries. These are two in number, nasal and temporal. These pierce the sclera obliquely on medial and lateral side of the optic nerve and run forward in a suprachoroidal space to reach the ciliary muscle, without giving any branch. At the anterior end of ciliary muscle these anastomose with each other and with the anterior ciliary arteries, and gives branches which supply the ciliary body. 3. Anterior ciliary arteries. These are derived from the muscular branches of ophthalmic artery. These are seven in number, two each from arteries of superior rectus, inferior rectus, and medial rectus muscle and one from that of lateral rectus muscle. These arteries pass anteriorly in the episclera, give branches to sclera, limbus and conjunctiva, and ultimately pierce the sclera near the limbus to enter the ciliary muscle, where they anastomose with the two long posterior ciliary arteries to form the circulus arteriosus major, near the root of iris. Several branches arise from the circulus arteriosus major and supply the ciliary processes, one branch for each process. Similarly, many branches from this major arterial circle run radially through the iris towards pupillary margin, where they anastomose with each other to form circulus arteriosus minor. Venous drainage, a series of small veins which drain blood from the iris, ciliary body and choroid join to form the vortex veins. The vortex veins are four in number superior temporal, inferior temporal, superior nasal and inferior nasal. They pierce the sclera behind the equator and drain into superior and inferior ophthalmic veins which in turn drain into the cavernous sinus.